Reactions from all over the sports world are pouring in following Lasorda's death, including from a former Padre and our Jeff McAdam is live in Carlsbad with that part of the story. Jeff. Hi guys, yeah, well the rivalry, you want to call it that, between Kurt uh, Bavacqua of the San Diego Padres and Tommy Lasorda, the manager of the Dodgers, really reached its peak in the early 1980s, so it's been a little while, but man, did the two have some moments together, ones that uh, well documented on YouTube at this point. It's clear to see the two didn't appear to like each other very much, though Bavacqua tells us today it's not entirely the case. If you're a diehard Padre fan, you know the name Kurt Bavacqua played for the Padres back in the early 1980s. Dodger manager Tommy Lasorda certainly remembered him too. Uh, there was never hate. Yeah. At least on my part, mm -hmm. and I don't. I don't think there was hate on Tommy's part either. Um, you know, disdain maybe. Mm -hmm. The two getting into a famous back and forth confrontation in 1982 after the Padres rallied to beat the Dodgers. Bavacqua says the Dodger pitcher at the time then hit a Padre player with an intentional pitch. He blamed the manager Lasorda for it, calling on him to be fined and calling him a fat little expletive. Lasorda famously denied the allegation, said they had no need to intentionally hit the player because, quote, they couldn't hit water if they fell out of a boat. Yeah, that was a good one. And when he said he blood Dodger Blue, he did. And he, he's the kind of guy that you can't stand when you're on the opposite side of the field. But when you're on the same side of the field, you love them. Lasorda famously mixed it up with a handful of mascots, too. Lasorda and Babakwa both eventually walked away from the game, occasionally staying in touch. And I said, uh, Miss Lasorda, this is Kurt Babakwa, is Tommy available? And it was kind of like, she muffles the phone. What's he doing calling here? That was the best one. <laughs> That's the best one because evidently either he brought some of that disdain home or she was right there when everything happened or she she got you know compromised with all the stories right. and all of that stuff but I, I found that to be uh, quite funny time was a good man he was a good man and, and he's gonna be missed uh, I mean let's face it Tommy Lasorda is an icon in baseball the world of baseball lost a great ambassador today yeah, and Bavakwa last saw Lasorda at a conference, he says, in Vegas about 12 years ago. He says they had a relatively nice conversation.